Rising is bringing the light variants of the Galaxy S10 and Galaxy Note 10. We've talked about the S10 Lite a few times in the past, suggesting how it's better than the Galaxy S10 in many ways and doesn't actually deserve the name tag the Lite. The Galaxy Note 10 Lite, however, do deserve to have Lite in its name. Samsung is expected to launch both of these Lite models in December, and today we have a benchmark of the latter variant, giving us some key specifications of this affordable Galaxy Note. First up, it will have the Exynos 9810 processor. If you remember, this was the SoC built on the Galaxy Note 9. So it's a year-old 10 nanometer flagship processor, which is still a capable SoC. The performance might not be as great as say the Exynos 9825 or Snapdragon 855, but still, it is a flagship processor and will offer a snappier performance. The benchmark also reveals 6GB of RAM. In my opinion, there should be 8GB of RAM variant available as well because a lot of mid-range phones offer 8GB of RAM these days, so it only makes sense for Samsung to offer 8GB as well. Also, it will come with the latest Android 10 and Samsung's One UI 2 on top. Design-wise, it's expected to look more like the Galaxy Note 10 and not the Note 9, which is good. One of the biggest reasons the iPhone 11 or 10R is selling really well is that it looks like it's bigger expensive so it looks like the more expensive Galaxy Note 10 as well because it gives an impression to people that it's an actual flagship phone than a toned down version of it. Anyway, as I've said, the Note 10 Lite along with the S10 Lite is expected to launch in December and the price should be somewhere around $700 or could be even lower. is able to regain the top spot after nearly losing it to BOE in the last quarter. Samsung sold over 50 million more AMOLED panels quarter over quarter thanks to its competitors Apple, Huawei, Xiaomi and others who are making more AMOLED phones which in turn is good news for Samsung and its display business. Also it's the first time ever that AMOLED shipments have surpassed the LCD shipments which means the market will only further increase and Samsung for sure will utilize this opportunity. were asking when exactly the Android 10 update would be available to your devices. I can understand the update, especially the One UI 2, is gonna bring some noticeable and welcome change. The gesture navigation has improved dramatically and it looks as good as the iPhone's gesture UI. I really liked iPhone's gesture navigation and wanted it to be on Android side as well. And thankfully, Samsung is doing that for us. Anyway, here is the timetable for the official Android 10 update to all Samsung devices. Do know that some Galaxy S10 devices in Germany are already getting the official Android 10 update. So that means the worldwide S10, S9, Note 10 and Note 9 devices could get the official update in December itself. So it's advisable to keep an eye on that update button because it's only a matter of time now.